Hi, I'm Sean Weaver with Pantheon Sales and Rental. We offer pillars of support for our customers. We're here to support you. This video today is to talk about the 735 Propane by Diamatic, uh, some benefits of the machine, a little bit about the machine, and how to run it. Okay, first of all, this is a 993cc motor, big motor, 28 inch diameter. Uh, it runs on vapor propane. So you don't need cords. The benefit of this machine, it's a good mid-sized machine. It's not too big. Some propane machines out there are really hard to get in between aisles. If you're doing a grocery store or a Walmart or something like that, with this small handle, you can get in, twist easily around within the aisles, works great. Um, and with a big motor like this, you can actually grind. You can get aggressive with it. So like any propane machines, when you run these, you really should run them, you know, pretty high RPMs. Uh, all these have a centrifuge clutch. So if you're running them too low on the CFM, you can actually burn your belt up or burn your clutch. So you wanna make sure to throttle it up. Very important with all these machines, you wanna throttle it down before you turn it off. Where I see a lot of people make mistakes is they're running machine full blast, they hit this emergency stop button which is for emergencies only, not for stopping the machine, okay? So you want to pull that, you know, throttle the machine down and then turn it off, okay? Very, very important with any propane machines. If you don't, you can end up breaking the belt or damaging the clutch. Um, also to, cha uh, to um, on this machine here, uh, but again, also check the oil. You know, it's just a good habit, check the oil before you start any job, it's important. Uh, check the oil, lift the machine back, just like any of them, you just kind of back. See the little pumps? Oh, and this machine has a water tank, which is really nice, so if you're going wet, you spray a bunch of water on the floor, put water in the tank, and get your drip pattern the way you like it, and just use enough water to grind efficiently. More is not better, because it's more slurry disposal. Uh, here, we have the, uh, the diamatic plates, the DAC, diamag plates that will hold the buffalo diamonds, uh, quality diamonds, 14 millimeters thick. Uh, they work great wet or dry. Uh, if you're gonna go dry, I always recommend starting with a soft bond or even an extra soft bond. Uh, especially in Colorado, I'd probably just go straight to extra soft because you're gonna cut so more, just more efficiently and labor is your number one cost in this business, guys. It's not diamonds labor, labor, labor. So, and you have, uh, so this is where you change your uh, your diamonds. You pop your diamonds on, use a screwdriver to knock them off uh, because they're magnetic. And then if you wanna run belt, uh, resins or ceramics, you're gonna put a Velcro adapter on there and then put your uh, ceramic or resin on there. Uh, have some weights in here to get more head pressure on the machine. And uh, basically that's how you run it. So. You start the machine up, let me go over that. We're not gonna start it up inside the store, but I'll kind of give you an illustration of what you need to do. I'm gonna turn the machine around. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I put it up. Down. You're going to pull the pin out here, put your handle down, put your pin back in, got your uh, key to start it. You want to, again, run vapor, not liquid. Liquid will freeze the regulator, this regulator right here. If it iced over, you know you're running either liquid or the tanks are full or overfilled. Typically on a vapor tank, you go about 80%, no more than that. Uh, if they overfill it, it will actually freeze the regulator. There's a valve on these tanks where you can open it up. And if you see basic li liquid coming out, you know it's overfilled. It happens a lot. So you ever get that call in the middle of the night, like the machine won't start. You tell your techs, so, hey, take a picture of the regulator. And if you see it's iced over, then they're gonna have to let it fall out most likely get a you know heat gun or something to claw it out 
Sometimes it actually can damage the regulator if it gets too frozen, okay? But vapor, this runs on vapor. You don't have to open these valves all the way. One turn is typically sufficient. You don't have to open them all up, but you open it about one turn and then you crank it up. Just turn it on like that. So you can hear it, gas up, and then you would turn it on to turn it on. Now, at the end of the job, I always recommend to bleed out any of the propane. One of the reasons why a lot of these machines will not start the next day is because you just turn the tank off and shut the machine off, okay? You actually want to turn this off while it's running and let the machine die at the end of the job, end of the day. That will get that propane out of the regulator and then next day you open it back up, voila, it'll start right back up. Um, that's pretty much it, running this machine. Uh, again, the key points is run it at a high RPM. You definitely wanna be at least 800 on it uh, because of the centrifuge clutch, um, if not even higher. Uh, do not stop the machine unless there's an emergency with the st emergency stop button. Go ahead and always throttle it down bring the speed all the way down to idle, then turn it off, okay? Only use this emergency stop button if there's a true emergency. Again, if you have it throttled right high and you turn it off, it's, um, it's a lot of pressure on the belt and a lot of pressure on that clutch and you'll probably eventually start breaking some belts. And uh, if you guys have any questions, Pillars of Support, Pantheon Sales and Rental, give us a call, thank you.